Alright everyone, it is me, Judson Chan. I'm starting my videos uh, about qu uh, quite later than I would like because I was trying to verify on Bittrex. And then of course, after wasting 35-40 minutes, they now tell me that New York residents are not allowed to use it. Which of course had no fucking indication and still allowed me to deposit money. So now my $24 worth of dog is being held hostage. I just wanted to try to buy up some fucking dog and then I don't know. Let's see. Have they responded back yet? No. So yeah, so now I'm like thoroughly quite annoyed. Right? Now, now I do realize, yes, I'm starting to get angry. It's only $24. Yes, it's the principle of it. Blah, 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 blah. But oh my god. This is A, why we don't like regulations. B, if there are regulations, we want to make sure that we can sue or get my shit back. And number three, why we just cannot have KYC and identity shit and whatever, so... Ah, <sighs> my god. Very, very annoyed. But the good news is, at least with the way Steam is working, like, I actually didn't mention this yesterday, and no one seems to really care. In fact, uh, probably, does it even have any... Oh, actually, it does have a couple of views. Wait, this isn't right. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it hardly has any views, right? If, even on my back end, it says, like, five or six views. So, um, Justin's son, uh, actually did, I think he actually did lie, because from the way, from, from the way it looks, the entire Steam community is actually, uh, first they were called hackers, now they're being called witnesses by Justin's son, so that's a big indicator of, uh, a, a, a lie, because why, why all of a sudden are the hackers now witnesses, and you didn't retract your previous statement, so... All right, I guess I was. Uh, it's like I don't, I don't. I honestly don't understand why Justin's son would waste so much of his fortune and billions just to take over a sixty-six million dollar blockchain. It's like uh, I, I, I don't know what's going on. So anyway, uh, they're they're uh, they're actually retaking back the the blockchain, and that's actually pretty impressive that a small group of people can actually take on the big people, uh, the big rich people, and uh, yeah, that bodes well for us. So. Um, yeah, so the governments of the world can do all this stupid, retarded, uh, bullshit, KYC, whatever, but they'll never, like, be able to stop crypto. But they could definitely slow it down. At least, you know, I'm now, I'm, I'm now I'm down $24, right? I mean, yeah, he still hasn't responded, because you know, I'm now asking, can I at least get my dog back, at least? I, mean, I think he should be, you know, I was being friendlier, too, towards my last, my later replies, because I'm not visibly pretty, pretty, uh... Like, I'm at the borderline angry, but I realize that's, that's bad and evil and just separate me from God. But it's like, eh, you know, it's like, you know, if, I, if, if you like, you know, I have a girlfriend or like my wife or whatever, and like you hit my kid, and then like, it was clearly, well, it's not deliberate, right? Well, yeah, if it's deliberate, well, actually, yeah, I would get angry. Actually, I would have to get angry. But, I mean, if, yeah, I don't know, actually, that's, a, that's actually a pretty... It's actually a pretty bad example because I don't think these guys were out to get me, but it's just like they're they're just incompetent, or they're so, uh, it's, yeah. So I mean, I can't really fault them that much, but it means I have to fucking get fucked in the ass without my consent for twenty four dollars. So yeah, all because of the stupid Justin Sun and the Tron stupid fucks. So yeah, I can't even use the real F word either. Just stupid censorship. Uh, but I honestly, you know, you know, since I'm such a negative Nancy movie, let, let, let me cheer myself up at CVs because I didn't actually look at this. So Bloomberg, <laughs> I think I heard this last night. I was listening to uh, Nick Fuentes, but uh, his, his live coverage, because I forgot yesterday was Super Tuesday. But I was too busy getting angry. Well, not angry, but frustrated. Escape from Tarkov, trying all sorts. It's like... Now I understand. I just cannot play that game anymore. I, I have to make my game, all right? And, and now I actually have serious questions to, uh, about my game design, right? How is the looting going to work? You know, how is the durability going to work? How is that going to work with the RMT that I'll eventually have? How do I create a satisfying experience even if you lose, right? But still make it punishing enough so that it's like, hey, you can't just run in and just be an idiot kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is why we should not allow billionaires. Bloomberg was a lot better 
off just giving it to the needy. He just dumped... No. He just got scammed by political experts for... What was it? 700 million? Make a wall. <laughs> wow, he's already suspended his campaign. Wow. I have to admit, I am extremely disappointed in Michael Bloomberg. He's like, I really thought he was gonna, at least going to like go kind of far before getting screwed over, but... Uh, Global gatekeeper and we're going to cancel a show Malcolm for taking a stand and putting America first. Your age, uh, agenda driven virtue signaling with shit lips, smear tactics will never work. Michelle is American hero. America first is unstoppable. Yeah, this is also another reason why I don't like Ali Alexander. You can't use the F word on him because obviously community service things because he does exactly this ultimately. Um, uh, but what's interesting is when. Uh, when Nick Fuentes said he went to see, I didn't know he actually went to CPAC. Uh, I thought he was banned from it, but apparently he was at least able to kind of get into the door. And uh, stupid fake right asshole Carpe Dogton went up to him like, "Can you can you stop making fun of me? Can you can you can we do we have a truce? Do we have a truce?" And Nick Fuentes was actually pretty chill about it. He's like, "Ah, oh, what, what's wrong with the guy?" So uh, yeah, it's like yeah, it's like I'm so sick and tired of these fake right losers, these beta male cucks. And it's now I under, now I truly understand why we cannot have nice things and why us true conservatives cannot actually get any traction because we're surrounded by traitors, fake losers, and really just liberals. You know, liberals hiding in uh, conservative clothing like C.J. Pearson. So, you know, once I get this out, once I actually start fixing things, you know, and then the game takes off. I'm gonna. I'm going because because my destiny is obviously gonna be different from Nick Fuentes. Even though obviously I'm like totally like 100% support for this guy, you know my destiny is gonna be something different. Like I will never allow this bullshit to ever happen again. No one will ever be able to lie ever again. Right? No, no more of this. You know it'll end with me one way or the other. So that'll be my charge because this is just ridiculous. Like can, can people just fucking just tell the truth, right? And just stop scamming. Right, whether it's politics or Bitrex inadvertently scamming me, right? You know, it's still technically a scam, but it wasn't intentional. It's just they just screwed up somewhere. Uh, and now, and now that I actually log into my account, now I can't withdraw anything, so they're just holding my money hostage. And no response. In fact, they may not even respond ever again. So. Yeah, go figure. Federal government spent more on Israel last year than it did West Virginia. Let that sink in. They give a foreign state more than their own. Oh, wow, wow. Okay. Yeah, that is actually true. Also, West Virginia tends to be uh, very conservative, so there's a clear reason why. Uh, so the shit lib establishment came together to crush Bernie. Again, even the fact that those who were staying in the race was just devastated Bernie as the last Sleepy Joe to win, uh, unthinkably win Massachusetts. Yeah, so even though Elizabeth Warren lost her home state. Uh, okay, biggest loser type of far is mini Mike Bloomer. His political campaign took him for a ride. Good, because scammers are going to scam the scammed and the scammers. 700 million washed out of the drain, and he got nothing for it except the nickname Mini Mike and the complete destruction of his reputation. Way to go, Mike. Oh, yeah, so it was 700 million. I'll make a little. Pocahontas, other than Mini Mike, was the loser of the night. She didn't even come. Yeah, because nobody even likes her in Massachusetts. But I mean, I think they just simply manipulated the uh, the, the votes. Oh, yeah, Michelle. Ma uh, not Michelle. Uh, Pamela Geller is fake right, too. She actually is attacking Michelle Malkin for, you know, Soros is not Jewish. And, uh, okay, what does she actually fully say? Uh, Soros is not Jewish in any blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, wh why do you fucking care, right? Pamela Geller used to be so based because she would get banned all the time for, like, going after radical Islamic terrorism. In fact, I think she's still banned in Great Britain. It, it's like, and then now she's shilling for the same people that banned her. It's like, What's wrong, like, what's wrong with these people? What's wrong with these people? Like, yeah, it's... Again, we, we have to get rid of the boomers. We have to get rid of the fake right. We have to get rid of all these liars. And then I know what's going to come, right? The fake right once... Because they're going to have us groipers do the real heavy lifting and all the real work. And we take all the damage. And then they'll just come in later and say... And pretend like they were helping us all along when that's clearly not the case. The good news is I think Nick Fuentes kind of hinted at that. So he kind of knows that. 
So, yeah. But anyway, because if they were true, like, what, yeah, where are the Jack Posobics, like, just outright saying, hey, we don't like what the Grapers or Nick Fuentes are even hinting at, but they have a right to free speech. Like, why are they being kicked out? Like, aren't we a marketplace of ideas? They don't even bother with that at all. They don't even do that because they're fake right. It's, like, starting to, like, annoy me. So, yeah. All right. So I feel a little better now that I got that out of my system. So... I'm still so annoyed I lost $24. All right, so I'm probably going to put uh, put the title of this as, yeah, Bittrex scams me out of $24 with, sh with bad documents, with bad, uh, I don't know, I'll think of something, but it's definitely going to be Bittrex unintentionally, because yeah, I do want to try to be fair, right? Because I got to be better than all the fake right idiots, or at least try to be, so. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, Bitcoin's down this week to 10 search interests, so Google has finally released the initial data. Uh, coin market cap, oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm so just, I'm so tilted by the $24 scam. Like, like I know it's only $24, but that's like uh, five days worth of food. That's like uh, 24 divided by 18, 19 cents. That's a lot of steam, right? Because that's why I wanted to buy with steam. Because I cannot buy, I literally cannot buy steam anywhere right now because of the stupid Justin Sun asshole. So, yeah, anyway, Bitcoin down 63.9 percent. Oh, so I'm still kind of tilted from Tarkov last night because I actually did try playing it for real. Like, I actually went in with a loadout, then a budget loadout. I tried a lot of different, I, I, and the result was always eventually the same. Like, this, it's like, okay. Uh, so it's going to be a design challenge for me to figure out how to so that's why a time to kill is going to be like five to ten seconds i thought i was going to lower it to five but now i realize i think i'm going to actually increase it to ten like this is just ridiculous you, the, the reason why you should die is and it should be very clearly obvious that you had many opportunities to get away but you didn't so 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 there's no frustration in that regard because you now know it's like Okay, I could have disengaged a lot, but I chose not to. So that means it's my fault. It's not the game design's fault. And that is why there's so much frustration. It's because I know I should have been winning, but I still lose because of some random dumb shit. And then it's like impossible to compete. And then it's like, why why play the game? Right? And that's actually ultimately why I keep, what I keep going back to. Right, and and then of course the problem is it's a well-designed Skinner box, so I really want the loot, right? And then, ugh. yeah, so I'll, I'll try to avoid. So I should try. I should, I'll I'll be able to figure out how to deal with that, right? So anyway, Bitcoin down is at sixty-three point nine percent. Twenty-four hour volume is one forty-four point two billion. So it's actually a pretty modest day today. Uh, Bitcoin's still down a little bit though. It's still like everyone's just exhausted. They're waiting for the next like disaster from coronavirus, right? But they don't quite want to just start dumping overall because everybody knows it's kind of a stupid thing. And on top of that, the Federal Reserve already like um, you know dropped fifty basis points, which is basically half a percent. That is gigantic. It was also very sudden, right? And the Fed, and as we'll soon. Oh, actually, it is going up. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that in a, in a second. But the equity markets were like crazy yesterday. Like after I finished my video yesterday, apparently it went down to like eight, nine hundred points, and then now it's up four eighty. All right. So right now it's like everything is pure chaos, pure chaos. So in times like that, hmm. make sure I burp so I don't get hiccups. In times of pure chaos, the best thing to do is either do nothing, because that's the correct move 90% of the time in investing and trading, or number two, just do a little bit of buying, right? And that's what I've been advocating this whole time so far during this coronavirus panic, right? Because it's a panic at this point, right? People should not be panicking. Because um, again, like what, only nine people in America have died so far? You, <laughs> right? cases are already dropping in china even if you account for china manipulating and lying the numbers uh it's significantly lower so someone's gonna notice so things are getting better right so people are just psychologically going psycho kind of like how i'm going a little psycho over you know losing 24 dollars to stupid bit trucks right so it's all just irrational, right? Eventually, everyone's getting over it. It does look like cryptocurrency has kind of basically figured that out. 
So Bitcoin's at 87.28, no real change from yesterday. Uh, Litecoin's at basically 59.66, same thing, no real change. Uh, it could go down, but everything's going up in the stock market. So right, there, right now, it is just you're not going to really figure out what's going to happen. Yeah, and that's just fine. Just let just let this chaos play itself out, buy a little more, and then once this is over, you know, the bull run can finally restart itself. Plus, with all this carnage, a lot of people have are probably sitting on a lot of cash. So eventually they're going to get greedy again and they'll start buying back up. Dog coins at 295.8 million market cap. So I don't know why it says it's down 1.44%, but you can see that this chart pattern is going up. It could be going back down though, but and of course steam all right so because no one really gave a shit about the view count for steam so if i didn't watch all the discord and all the people complain on twitter so basically what happened was justin sun is apparently lying and so are the exchanges that also colluded to take over steam uh and then and then they got uh screwed over because um uh what should i call it because the community rose up in rebellion and now they're trying to backtrack so what the exchanges did was they actually staked and powered up all their steam. So now most of the steam that's actually out in circulation is all uh, is all delegate is all powered up. You can't you can't actually buy you cannot buy or sell uh, steam. So that's actually uh, so basically the supply of steam for the now is essentially infl uh, deflated in supply. Uh, it's been like what one two days now. So in three to four days we should see a change as the exchanges start. You know powering down their steam so people can withdraw their money because apparently if you have steam on any of those exchanges finance huabi and i think i forgot the other one uh you actually cannot withdraw your money for 13 weeks and if and then every five days you can withdraw a little bit a very small portion of it because that's how steam is designed so once you power up your steam so you can begin staking and delegating and making money on dlease.io and other such places uh you're committed you're committed, right? And that and that's perfect for me because I'm not planning to ever sell my steam. If I do want to sell steam, I sell the generated steam for fiat, right? I use the cash flow to fund my lifestyle, right? Because you have to understand. I mean, a lot of you probably, a lot of you really should read read the book "Rich Dad Poor Dad" by Robert Kiyosaki because there really is a difference between money and assets. Assets are the most important thing because assets generate the money that you use to spend to do all the fun stuff you want to do, right? In my case, it funds my lifestyle, which is pretty simple and humble. And I live in New York City, right? Basically, one of the most expensive cities in the world. And then, which is why I'm going to eventually move out, right? So, and I was able to make it, right? Because again, yeah, Bitcoin shot up in price, but I also have a, in, I have an asset column. Right, so it produces me income. Right now, it's not producing me enough income, but you know, um, you know, it keeps me afloat. In fact, I still don't need to get a job yet, right? And I don't think I will because I'd rather work on the game. Uh, but uh, yeah, but the point is, um, yeah, it's not a problem for me, but it's a problem apparently for everyone else. So yeah, and it's very disappointing because these are actually big, legitimate exchanges. And again, I don't know why they were lying about it and taking over steam again it's only worth 68.5 million like why do you have to do a hostile takeover like not, the, not everything about steam just doesn't make any sense but the good news is it looks like the, the and that's why i was trying to get on bittrex because that's the only exchange where i can buy and sell right now and of course they scam me on my 24 dollars <sighs> so for the time being steam will be uh going up a little bit but then uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Like, there, like once people, I mean, I don't know. There's gonna be a lot of people withdrawing their tokens from these exchanges because they're gonna be angry about Justin Sun and the collusion. But so I don't see them dumping the coin. But we'll just have to see. But for the most part, I'm not gonna be able to buy Steam for a while. It looks like, you know, Block Trades is still down. And uh, someone in Discord told me that Block Trades is not owned by Justin Sun or Tron. So. Hopefully they'll be able, I'll be able to buy uh, buy my Steam there, you know, because I really want to buy Steam now. I really because especially now that I have dlease.io, it's like it's now I'm in charge of my own you know cash flow. I don't have to outsource it as much anymore. So, you know, and it's very scalable. You could go as little or as much as you want, right? Uh, let me show you. Like if you're if you want to get into Steam, you really should be using dlease.io. 
Uh, so yeah, you know, you get 12%, 12.7, 12.59% APR, right? This is basically a blockchain version of a stock. So, and what's, and what's brilliant about this is you're low, you're essentially loaning this money out to other people. So yeah. Uh, so whatever, like, I don't, I don't fully understand what the steam blockchain does, but I also just don't care. I just want the money, right? The, the, the D apps on it are actually pretty okay, but, uh, I think the, like Ethereum and other games are better. So, so anyway, and here are the durations. So you basically get, and then it tells you the daily payout, uh, what's excellent clicked. And it tells you the daily payout. God, it needs to stop doing that. It tells you the daily payout over here. So you know every day if you delegate 30 steam power for 12 weeks you know you'll get a total of you know blah 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 so it's it's ex so it's the best it's like your asset is steam and it's producing you free steam every day and you obviously get back the money uh at the end of the term you can also terminate the term prematurely if for some reason you just don't like uh when you want it back or you don't like the guy or whatever um so uh so again, this is a nice way to diversify your income. Now, of course, the problem is, yeah, I didn't know there was a uh, hostile takeover going on. It's like, like, uh, is it just me or is this world run by a bunch of greedy, evil idiots? All right, so stocks, so the equity markets look like they're mostly shaving off yesterday's massive losses. Coronavirus, you could add billions in value to this one stock. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to. Oh, okay. Now I'm tempted. Uh, Gilead could be sitting close to a $20 billion untapped startup provided it has success with it. Oh, yeah. So this is the one that said they have a working vaccine, but they have to test it. So that's the gamble. Uh, the problem is everyone already knows that, so they've already bought up the stock. So it's basically too late. I mean, you still could do it, but uh, I'm not going to do it. I mean, this is with stocks. So, I mean, my cash and my stock market are kind of extremely... It's actually always very low because it's always constantly buying stocks. Stock surge after Democrat primaries. Dow had shed more than 900 points by the end of Tuesday's session. Ah, yes, because I didn't have a, because I started so late just doing my videos, I didn't have a chance to read the dissident right take on last night's elections. But basically, Bernie Sanders is basically completely screwed. So I think that's what it was. Because people... Because people actually know Bernie Sanders is actually going to go after all these corporations like we want them to and bring uh, justice for them completely screwing us all over. So now that rich people know that they're going to be able to keep their money, literally, uh, they're going back in and buying up all this stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, me personally, what would happen to me? Let's say I have a successful game. My real estate empire is up and running. Yeah, I mean, they'll probably take a lot of my money too. But first, they'll be dealing with the billionaires. <clears throat> and then at that point, there'll be enough people getting so angry at the Bernie bros and the Bernie gals and Bernie Sanders. At that point, it'll actually be like technically open civil war, but everyone's just going to turn on them. And then us right wing people, like that would be the worst case scenario. And then us right wing people would just simply just say, you know, communism will never exist ever again. We're just going to ban it, you know, whatever. We're going to go hardcore Chile, you know, right wing, you know, kind of thing. But first, Bernie would have to steal all the guns from everyone in America. Uh, and that would pretty much be impossible. Because uh, at that point, you'll have, because what's going to happen is someone has to go in and confiscate the guns. If most cops will refuse to do it, then it'll be U.S. soldiers, right? And then I think maybe maybe the more liberal-minded soldiers might comply. And then what you're going to happen is, you know, you're going to have firefights, right? You know, civilians against U.S. troops, and people are getting very angry. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that even the more liberal-minded U.S. National, National Guard, essentially, and the U.S. military would just be like, you know, we're going to refuse that order, right? We're going to refuse the order. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, but anyway, that like I guess that's extremely low uh, chance of happening. In fact, it'd probably be close to zero, thankfully. Uh, but it would, be, but yeah, had I gone on to make my cop show, I would have looked at to something like that because it would be about a real civil war. So uh, everything's up. Uh, our, the threat of Bernie Sanders is gone for now. So uh, yeah, things are things are looking good uh, equity wise. So everyone's so everyone who uh, is going back in because they made a lot of money yesterday when everything was crashing. Now the Dow is mostly recovered. I think it's still down like 
Uh, you know what? Why speculate when I could just simply look? Let's look at the one month. Yeah, so... Yeah, so... God, these numbers are so insane. 25. So it's actually back up to what it was March 3rd. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so it was down to 24. 5,897 on the Dow. Now it's back up to 26,425. Yeah, so everything's basically recovering. Here's the bottom right here, February 28th. So people are just going nuts. All right, so all is Tamaguchi for now. JFC coin has skyrocketed. Oh, pleasant surprise for once. So it makes me a little happier. Has skyrocketed to five to six. And we're talking a major skyrocket. All right, very good, very good uh very good okay all right uh oh uh, trade uh, okay i don't want to do the trade about but it's obviously going to be a lot so uh yeah so now that steam is like kaput a lot of that money is probably f finding itself here so four four coins at six to seven uh you know it went as high as eight yesterday so it's doing all right too um wait i didn't know this was a thing here yeah very good okay can you All right, can you? Yeah, there we go. Because I don't want to risk refreshing the page because it might because it asked me about my IP address before I hit the record button. So you know, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't pop up again. Two by two is 63 to 64 satoshis of a Bitcoin. So two by two going, it's also doing pretty well. Compound coin is also doing pretty well. Like this steam disaster has, you know, uh, you know, resulted in everything else going up a little bit. So we got. 6101 satoshis of a dog coin to 7500 satoshis uh, of a dog coin for compound coin because people have actually been buying up some compound coin as you can see here it's not a lot of volume but it's you know it's respectable enough for what it does uh so i found this headline pretty funny but let me check to see has these have these assholes responded no they're just ignoring it um so yeah uh Piece of shit, Bitrex is yeah. So you know what? I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna set, title this Bitrex scams my money, no response. So don't don't use Bitrex. Warren Buffett loses 28 billion in one week. Should have kept his Bitcoin. <clears throat> Warren Buffett lost more than 28.5 billion in his top 10 event last night. Maybe he wishes he kept his Bitcoin. As funny as this is, um, Warren Buffett doesn't really care. Yeah, you know, he's seen he's seen it all. And, uh, you know, it's also, this was 23 hours ago, so it went down a lot, but now it's mostly recovered, so. Uh, but, you know, he should consider, uh, he should consider uh, Bitcoin. And he kind of is, but I think this Justin Sun thing isn't exactly helping things. Uh, privacy focus route for Bitcoin users, that's fine, blah, blah. Jeremy recognized Bitcoin as a legal financial instrument. Yes, we mentioned that yesterday, but that's good. So the night after Fed rate cut fails to lift price, uh, Peter Schiff. Uh, I can't. I can't say what I really need to say, but he's actually part of the global scammers. So don't trust him. He's deliberately trying to keep you poor. He also wants control. He's a, he's part of the globalist agenda, <clears throat> even if he would uh, sounds like he isn't by saying spamming gold. He's just making a play. For, it's, it's just like the fake right. They're just making, they're just controlled opposition. So don't listen to them. Bitcoin keeps recovery. Hopes a lot. Oh, speaking of which, uh, he, told, he told a story of like when he was at the, you know, remember the video I did a few days ago about the Mindy Robinson fight? Carpe Doctum, John Cardilla and Mike Cernovich were actually there. Uh, and then Nick was kind of went really fast, but apparently John Cardillo mostly and carpe donctum were like telling nick to stop this don't do this uh it's bad something it'll like people will get you arrested or something like that it was some weird rambling karma bullshit thing and then nick was basically like what are you talking about mindy's the aggressor here she had a guy in a headlock and she pulled the hair out of a, another e-girl she like what why are you defending this and it's just like I, I can't again. I can't stand these fake writers and these boomers. It's like, all right, they just take away all their money and their um, uh, followers and their prestige. Like this is just ridiculous. <clears throat> and yeah, now I understand why we're getting banned because the so-called fake right, you know, or new right, right, didn't uh, didn't do what they were fucking supposed to do. So now now we have these problems. 
So, okay, so we'll solve the problem and then we'll discipline or punish them for uh, basically their duplicity. So, it also, and also, he didn't, because he mentioned Mike Cervich was there, but he didn't say he did anything. But it is now making me kind of wonder if I want to create my cat for, uh, like, my cat, because I was going to have my merchant NPCs uh, be inspired by, like, all the people that I met, right? You know, like, Jesse Lee Peterson's definitely going to be, like, my, like, the chief medical officer, like, because he's the, he's like the pat, Christian pastor guy, so I don't think he's going to be, so it wouldn't be, I, I don't I feel right having him in, like, some sort of combat role, right? So it's like, well, what's the closest thing that he could do? Oh, okay, I just make him a surgeon general or something, right? The, the actual chief medical officer of the United States. At least for the next, you know, six months, right, before the Empire comes in and, like, you know, wipes us all out in the story, <laughs> right? If they do, right? But obviously you can tell that's not going to happen because obviously, you know, then we have a very short story, right? You know? But uh, there'd be other things that would be happening, though. So, so uh, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be good. Mm. Yeah, because I haven't actually told you about it. Like how like how they will prevent that from happening. Uh, but that doesn't mean to say that the Empire won't be destroying other nations though, so yep. That's how it goes. Satoshi, but okay, I don't care about that. Multi billionaire venture capitalist made a massive bet on Bitcoin. Um yeah, I don't really care about that. Bitcoin shopping at Pirate Hill Eating, Pet Store, uh it's a nice little doggy. Um Actually, this would be perfect. This is the perfect thumbnail. Uh, I'm going to have to make this smaller. Uh, okay, can I open this image in a new tab? There we go. There we go. All right. I was getting a little too big there. I hate I hate when like this like the layout becomes this instead of like the side thing. All right. Uh, Ripple says hackathon winner. Don't care. Indicator that signal Bitcoin crypto rally center flashing green. Fine, but it's technical analysis, so we don't care. Crypto's posed to hit a new all-time high, despite Bitcoin breakdown. Yeah, I mean, we, we already know that. We just don't know when. Volatile Bitcoin continues. Fed slashes interest rates. Stocks. Okay, that's an old article. Oh, this is from yesterday. Yeah, so no real news, right? I don't really see uh, any coronavirus stuff either. Also, what's that thing about lifting what? India lifts ban on cryptocurrency trading. Yes. So even so, India has finally caved in. Um, U.S. braces for more. That's yeah, not too bad. Uh, of course, who are there? Short face masks. Death toll rising. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's just 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 more fear monger. India lifts ban on cryptocurrency. All right. So. I get so my title will probably be Bittrex scams me out of my money. Uh, India lifts ban on cryptocurrency. So we'll actually read this. India Supreme Court on Wednesday overturned. Where are we at? 12, 32, 33 minutes. Overturned central bank's two year old. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me deal with this. Uh, overturned the central bank's two-year-old ban of crypto trading in the country in what may say was a historic verdict. The Reserve Bank of India has imposed a ban, right? At the time, yeah, uh, ring fencing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we, we don't need a history lesson here. We know India banned crypto. Uh, in the ruling today, headed by whatever his name is, overruled the central bank's circular on the grounds of disproportionality. A group of petitioners, including trade by of the Internet Mobile Association of India, had chance of bank, central bank, blah, blah, blah. All right, the India should look at most other nations that are not only allowed crypto trade, but have moved to launch their own virtual currencies. Yeah, China coin, France coin, Portugal coin. I think I I, I forgot all the countries already, but everyone, but everybody ex, uh, except the United States and Canada are you know have their own cryptos. But the Reserve Bank of Canada, I think that's what they call it, the RBA, Reserve Bank of Canada, because that's their that's what that's their central bank. Yeah. Uh, we are, it, says, it just says Bank of Canada. Okay. Yeah, but basically, whatever. Um, okay. Uh, but yeah, they're actually looking uh, into creating their own crypto, but they're still researching it. And then the, you know, the Federal Reserve and a lot of government employees here in America are actually bucking uh, all the other naysayers about crypto, you know, like Trump and Steve Mnuchin, and, create, and they're looking at their own alternatives for crypto. And in fact, uh, in fact, 
who was it? Jerome Powell, actually. I, uh, I did the video on it, right? He did a 180 and said, we're going to be looking at many alternatives, including crypto. Uh, but the problem is we want a privacy-focused crypto, which is hilarious because, again, he's very concerned about money laundering. You can't, you can't have one, you can't have both. You either have one at the expense of the other or, or, or vice versa, right? Do you, if you want to deal with money laundering, you have to be able to track something, but that means no privacy, right? So historic day for crypto in India. We can now innovate the entire country compared to the blockchain revolution. Da, 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 da. Uh, in historic. Uh, okay. Oh, and that's the end of the article. All right, very good. So India, so India is now uh, pro cryptocurrency, and this is pretty nice, right? Between Steam and India, right? All these centralized powers that are trying to take over crypto, they're just get they're, you know, they're they're just getting their asses kicked left and right, and that bodes very very well for all of us, right? And then of course here in America and really Europe and everywhere else, nationalism is on the rise because these globalist piece of shits are trying to flood their own countries with a bunch of like angry third world invaders, right? That don't, don't that actually drain resources and welfare from the native population. All right. And all the lies and deceit is just crumbling before our eyes. So, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, that's just how it goes. So anyway, if you like what you saw, write or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash uh, GMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so that uh, you know we can grow the channel. All right, I'm done for the day. I have my physical day off, but I'm still waiting for my package. Oh, that's the thing I also forgot to mention. I actually got my redelivery yesterday, so it really does take two days. Uh, so now I understand. It, that's what happened, right? Every time I kept doing a new redelivery request, thinking that they didn't deliver, it's because I was actually resetting the the, the time lag clock. So, <laughs> so redelivery does work, at least in my area. So uh, yeah, so now I know. Now I know. That's that's actually awesome because now I never have to go to the post office. Yeah, I'll just do redelivery. Of course, who knows what will happen when I move to Florida? All right, Tampa, Florida. All right, and hopefully the redelivery is kind of reliable there too. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night. Enjoy the bull run that's happening. Um, for me, well, yeah, continue buying because everybody's buying, right? You know, again, of course, uh, do dollar cost averaging, dollar cost buying is what I like to call it because I don't want you to be selling, I want you to be buying, all right? Uh, just buy a little at a time and then just ride this, uh, just ride this wave out. What will happen this week? I have absolutely no idea. I'm not even gonna try, right? Uh, I think if anything, I'll just probably be neutral because again, everyone's just so preoccupied with coronavirus, even though it's, the situation's getting a lot better, that uh, we're just going to have to just take, we're just bracing for the damage. Once, once the, like once the peak outbreaks in America and really everywhere else that's getting infected now, once they reach their peak and then start declining, China should already be pretty much solved, right? And they'll, they're just going to have to deal with uh, existing cases. And then everybody else will follow suit. And then around that time, it'll be springtime. All right, the weather will get warmer. Everything will be nicer. It's already warmer here in New York City. Very good sign, right? Because uh, uh, vir flus and viruses uh, pretty much don't... Uh, they die out very quickly during hot weather and warm weather so uh, and then we'll have the vaccines out bitcoin will have and then we're gonna have like the most fantastic bull run that we've ever seen i just hope that i'll be able to stockpile my steam uh before that happens right so you know f fucking justin sun you know piece of garbage but you know what i'm just tilted today because again i just got scammed out of 24 dollars. i still am getting scammed um hello don't want to get scammed. I do. And what? Like my money back. Thanks. All right. Uh, then we'll just delete that because I know these assholes at Bittrex won't um, respond. But yeah, uh, we're de uh, they're definitely going to be on my shit list now. So yeah, yeah. You know, that's just how it goes. All right, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Judson Chan, uh, JFC Coy. Actually, yeah, hardly any uh, increased page views. 
404 coin, so that probably means this is all just speculation, probably from Steam. And uh, that's a nice doggy picture, so uh, I'll get over it, but I just hate when people lie to me and I get hurt, and then I hate it when I get scammed and I get hurt that way too. I get very tilted. Oh well. Uh, well, now you know. Don't use uh, Bittrex. They're a scamming asshole piece of shit like Poloniex is. Oh, maybe that's the other That's the other exchange, too, that participated in the scam. Poloniex. Because they also scammed me, too, and hiding behind the KYC uh, bullshit, too. It's, it's all lies. It's all lies.